Hello, here's my vlog for the 23rd of May. It's 5.15 Tuesday. I'm dealing with a nightmare situation right now. My computer just doesn't want to cooperate with me. Here, I'll show you. So as you can see, just wants to do the spin around, Elio. Not responding because this image here happens to be 13.1 megabytes, which is 20 pixels across. And all I'm trying to do is change the font and all it wants to do is spin around. And so it's been doing that for like a half hour. It just wants to spin around and spin around. And I restarted the computer a bunch of times. I restarted the program, Photoshop a bunch of times. Um, I have like a hundred extra gigabytes on the computer. Just sometimes my computer just doesn't want to do it. So I just kind of have to sit here and watch it spin around until it decides that it's done spinning around. And then you see if you can do it last night, it was working great. Like it, I was doing the batch edit where you would change that thing and it would, it would, it'd take maybe 15 or 20 seconds or something like that. Um, yeah, but now all of a sudden the computer just doesn't want to do it. Um, so yeah, um, all I can do is really just look at this, watch it spin around. If I, or I could just like restart it a bunch of times. But uh, I don't know, it's one of those problems. That's kind of the main thing that keeps me from making progress on my website is when the computer decides to just spin around like that. On tiny little pages, like tiny, tiny little munchkin things. And then all of a sudden it'll kick into gear and just start working again. So hopefully that'll happen sooner rather than later. But um, So what happened was, yeah, yesterday I had to break up these images. Um, I had 10 of them, one to 1,000, 1,000 to 2,000, all the way up to 10,000. But it was too um, big. It was too, 20 pixels across by 8,000 pixels long was too much for, um, Flickr to be able to deal with. In fact, oh look, did it go? Oh look, it did it. I just did it. Wow, at least it didn't totally freeze. Let's see if I can uh, drag an image. It is on Herculaneum. Yeah, you can drag it too. Cool, we're back in business. I might want to choose another one now. And I bet you it'll be start being faster now. It just kind of takes a long time to warm up. But um, anyway, what was I talking about? Um, yeah. Oh, let's check. Let's check. F <coughs> let's check Flickr. Because it said, like, hang on, hang tight, we're working on it. And I'm like, really? Because maybe they'll just delete the images instead of fix it. They'll just delete it. No, I see them here. But then when I click it... Oh, that's just the, the latest one because I, I did one after I broke it up and it worked. I'm going to do one of these. Yeah, it didn't work. So I'm going to delete those images. They've been up more than a day. It says, bad, bad panda, come on, we want photos. So I'm like, what does that mean? Does that mean that like these aren't photos and they're reprimanding me for trying to upload something that's not a photo? But then they say, we're aware of the problem and are fixing it. Thanks for your patience. But they're not. So, um, so anyways, um, but I, I managed to build them with a batch edit, which made it really, which made it way faster than if I had have just broken them up first. So I built them with a batch edit, built it really quick and without thinking, just and then um, I realized it's too big. So then I uh, broke it up. And uh, that took a long time because it's 100. And then, um, and then I realized, and I should have done the batch of it before, but then I realized that um, the one that I was using, Apple, what's it called? Oh, that's the only one that's open. It was like Apple something was too wide but it looks like Herculaneum is too wide too. If it's all nines. So I need to find the perfect font. And the thing that's been bogging me down is 
uh, I couldn't decide. I, when I, whenever I vacillate, the worst thing um, that can happen to you in building a really big website where you have to be really smart in how you spend your time, the best way to waste time is uh, to not be decisive. Um, and the way that I figure out, the way that I get decisive is I just build both of the ones and then whatever one I like more, I, I eventually decide and then I have to build the other one to, to make it. But um, but you want to be decisive. And I, I built this one called Apple and then I realized later that it was too wide. And I should have looked at it maybe with the nines, but it looks like maybe a Herculaneum's too wide. I have like 3,000 fonts I can choose from. And maybe that's one reason why it's getting so bogged down. I don't know. Because I put the fonts on my computer and now they're attached automatically to my Photoshop because it's just plugged into the whole thing. Um, yeah, that must be what it was. But, um, but, um, um, Anyway, I might, I'm gonna ex experiment, cause yeah, that doesn't actually, I don't really like that. Here, I'll show you. Yeah. So it's so like, um, you wanna f choose a font that it goes all the way across the 20 pixels at the smallest setting, which is six pixels, but not too more small because you want to be still be able to see it so yeah i think i'm going to take the advantage the um opportunity on this one to choose something even better than herculaneum yeah because you can only see three nines of course you have to choose something better well was apple here let's see if apple i can't even remember which one that was and let's see if it even responds maybe all of a sudden it'll respond you, you have to do a thousand of them that's the problem. Um, it's a thousand different layers because each number has its own layer. So, um, a day without sun is good. Which was the one that I had? See, because now it's all, it's like back to what it was and the one that I was using is missing. But, um, Oh yeah, dang it. Shit spinning around. Now it's not responding. Fuck. Anyway, I think I figured out why. It's because of um I have too many fonts. But um a way to work around that is you can just decide beforehand what font you want to use somehow. Like maybe you look at the fonts on Flickr, because I have them all on Flickr. And just find a font that looks that it just appears to be <clears throat> not take up much length but still be visible and just <clears throat> and just type it paste copy it before you even get on photoshop and then when you go to the character input you just paste it in that way you can skip all that whole like it freaking out because when you're scrolling down to choose different fonts it tries to like show you on the left side with each one you scroll down and that's too much to ask of your computer if you have a thousand different layers. Oh wait, I don't have a thousand though, because I broke it up, I only have a hundred. Yeah, so even with a hundred layers, it's like it can't handle it, but it was handling it just fine with a thousand yesterday, so the computer is just like freaking out. I just restarted it like twice. So maybe I should just restart it like five times. And I just checked and it has more than 100 megabytes, but I'll check again. Maybe I should check again. Let's see how many mega, let's see how many, um, how much storage it has if I check again. Maybe it counted wrong the first time. I need a new computer. This is what's wrong. This is a 2017. Oh shit. 440. <gasps> oh no, no, no. 391. First it said 440. 391 out of 499. So I have more than 100 gigabytes. Okay, so it just brought it up. So now let's go here. I'm going to mouse over Day Without Sun. Oh, it's, it's called... Oh, Apple Color Emoji. Anyways. 
Oh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to have to create from scratch a 20 pixel across image and, and then just type words onto it. And um, I'm gonna type four, what is it? Yeah, I have to type four nines across it because those are the ones that are the widest. And I have to find a font that will fit all four nines across it, like where all four nines touch the edge. Um, and then I have to copy that and then paste that one on all the other ones. But I have to hope that when I open that one tiny 20 pixel by 20 pixel image and I type the words on and then I go over to choose the font that the computer doesn't fucking freak out. So that's what I'm dealing with now. And the frustrating thing is yesterday the computer was working fine. Like it had a thousand it was, and all of a sudden I wake up and the computer doesn't want to work. And I can't do my other computer because um, it doesn't work with the mouse anymore. It like lost a bit, a piece or something, and it's like nine hundred dollars, eight hundred fifty bucks to fix. So that computer is just like a, has become like a background computer. So I hate it when I'm there's like you're in a catch twenty two situation where there's nothing you can do. All you can do, look, this is what I'm looking at. This is what I'm looking at. It's not responding. It's not responding. It's just spinning around. I can't do anything. I can't do anything. This is a 13 megabyte image. It's only 20 pixels across. All I'm trying to do is choose a freaking font. Right? So this is like part of my life. It's just sitting around looking at a computer spin around. Um, and I literally can't do anything. Yeah, because if I move the mouse, it just spins around. So yeah, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to do what I was talking about. I'm just going to force quit the program this is ridiculous see this is why I can't make progress with my website my computers don't work okay so force quit the program so now I'm opening the program again and so what I'm gonna do is um, is open a, a tiny little 20 pixel by 20 pixel put words into it and see if I can choose a font and if the, and if the computer doesn't freak out and the computer freaks out and just wants to spin around forever and ever I'll just have to restart the computer a bunch of times. And then I'll guess, guess I'll have to go to nuclear after that. I hate, fuck. And then uninstall Photoshop, reinstall Photoshop, uninstall the whole operating system, reinstall the whole operating system. What else? Um, um, do that thing, the, the equivalent of the defrag where you go into safe mode and... Yeah, just do all of it. I got the computer back from the shop like two weeks ago when they were supposed to have done all this. So that's what I'm dealing with right now. So anyways, um, after I finally get my computer to cooperate with me, I don't know if that's going to happen. Maybe it won't happen today. Maybe it'll be tomorrow. But um, whenever that happens, I'll just sit around and just wait for it to spin around, spin around. Um, I can then bust open these images, which is what I was doing this morning. And um, I have to align the letters. Well, after I get the right font on it. I have to then align the letters so that they're in the middle. On all of them, which there's 10,000 of. Um, most of them are already good. So it's not like that's unreasonable. You just look at it, you scroll down really fast. If anything stands out, you knock it in. And then... Um, upload it to Flickr, which I know it goes up because I did a test and it goes up just fine. And then, um, yeah, and then you can uh, put them onto the, the page. Uh, you know, you get the little, because Flickr is the only page, website on the internet that I know of that you can um, embed them on websites. So you just get the code to embed it and put it on there. And um, so I'm going to, and I haven't even built it yet. And if I get frustrated with this, I'll just start building it now. But um, to be able to identify which myriad you're using, you have it um, on different um, colored um, uh, tables. You have to have, if you're gonna put a bunch, stack a bunch of Flickr images, instead of do like an image and then hit break and then the other one, um, it doesn't always work 
that way. It's better to um, have them all in their own uh, table, their own little area. So that way, but anyway, that way you can have its own border around each one, its own color to identify. And then you do the bigger one around which myriad. So because I really, I'm going, because then once I fucking get around to it, I want to uh, put uh, plenty inside of 10 myriad, which is 100,000. 10,000 times 10 and uh, see if it fits. Cause I, I have a feeling it's gonna fit pretty well. Like plenty is gonna take up exactly 100,000. Um, 10 myriad. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, so yeah, wish me luck. Um, I wish my computer luck. Uh, talk to you tomorrow.